want to look at the ambiguous case. And so um, side side angle, and I want to focus on the where you get no triangle um, to begin with here. So um, right now I have a right triangle. And so obviously you don't even need the law of sines because our regular ratios are going to work just fine here. So I have sine of 50 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. And so, I'm just going to the light just to go on the there. You can do that if you'd like. And so, make sure you're on degrees. And so, I get 2.298. And again, the unit could be inches, feet, whatever our unit is in this triangle. And so, some people like to do this because that gives you the altitude um, of your triangle, which in this case, it is a right triangle. So, they're the same. But that helps you because, for example, say you didn't have a right triangle. Say that this side went in, right? And so you just had this little triangle right here, all right? Well, then, obviously, that red side would have to be a lot longer than that. Um, on the same token, if, say, this third side went out here, and again, your triangle was complete, if you had your altitude of this new triangle right here, then this side is obviously longer than that too. So this is really kind of the shortest um, that altitude can be for this triangle. And so how that helps some people is, for example, if you have a problem like this, you have a triangle, um, which is 50 degrees, and say this is 3 and 2, and again it's angle, side, side, or side, side, angle. And so you start doing law of signs um, and some people would test it first they would actually put in an altitude and try to figure out what it is and they would look and they'd be like wow um, the height of that triangle would have to be this this is the shortest it absolutely can be because obviously if it tilts the other ways it's going to get larger and so two um, is not even going to touch um, i can't make a triangle um, like that and so they would say that they have no triangle which is great if you want to spend the time doing that. I tend to just do the law of sines. So I'm just going to do sine of 50 degrees all over 2 and sine of, say, C all over side 3. And again, I'm going to just do the math. Um, so sine of C is equal to 3 sine of 50 degrees all over by 2. So I get sine of C equals... Well, it's going to be that same value up here, except now it's divided by 2. So that's um, approximately 1.149. Now, at this point, I can tell I'm going to have issues because sine and cosine functions, um, those ratios go between negative 1 and 1, and obviously this is not in that. So I'm going to have some troubles here. So I can go ahead and do um, inverse sine to both sides. And your calculator will catch it for you. Um, if you type this in, it's going to say domain error because it realizes that this ratio cannot be a domain for that because it's stuck between negative 1 and 1. And so that tells you right away that there is no triangle possible with those values. So the nice thing is if you want to go and look at this in your book, um, I believe it's on page 681, and try to figure that out, that's fine. But you really don't need it because right here when you do the law of signs, you'll get an error that's going to tell you that that will not be able to make a triangle.